We are here at the Dallas Back to School Drive here, hosted by Prime One Home Loans. I'm so excited to be here. There's a lot of kids going to school without supplies, without book bags, and it makes them feel smaller, less than the students who have. We have a wonderful opportunity to be able to sow a seed and give back to these kids, to give back to this community, to help raise up the next generation. Today we're here to gather like minds, bring them together, champion behind the call so we can hopefully bridge that gap between what the parents could not suffice for school and we'll be able to, you know, fill that in for them. Um, this event was basically just for community building, just getting people to network with each other and just touch each other, you know, in a space where we are not in an office, we're not in a conference, we're just enjoying each other's time and, and each other's presence in the name of children for Back to School Dallas ISD. It was important for me to attend this event today, um, one, to support Benicia, but also to support, uh, you know, the Dallas Independent School District. She's done a lot for the community with other organizations, but now this is something that's really personal to her. And I always like to embrace powerful women, especially in our community, that want to give back. And so I owed her my time and my support. And it looks like a lot of other people felt the same way. I think this is super important because we don't know what seed we're sowing into the future that's going to blossom and grow into a beautiful cross. Uh, I think that Benicia, you know, her focus on financial literacy is great and I think that um, it's something that's very needed in the community. She really wanted to help them build a, a legacy generational wealth for their family. She's handing out two scholarships to children to go to real estate school, which is unheard of, and I'm so excited to support that mission because even in our financial literacy programs and education, we teach children you don't always just have to go to college. There are many ways for you to make your presence known and your purpose felt. She's not only just giving back to the community um, with school supplies, she's giving out $2,500 um, uh, grant for this actual opportunity as well um, to the school system and she's showing you and showing us what it looks like to be able to gain your wealth but give back into the community at the same time. I do have this check that I will be presenting to the Dallas School District. It is made out for $2,500. That is just for right now but there's more to come. The point that she's making is hey whatever students want to do whether they want to go to college or they want to pick up a trade she's there to help them both ways. She don't speak she don't speak from her money she speaks from her heart and she does is what she does from her heart. Um, we know money, we know how to spend it, we know how to invest certain things, but we don't quite you know, understand finance at a deeper level, and I think that what she's doing is great. Uh, the key thing is, you know, to whom much is given, much is required. You know, so blessing others is important. If God has put you on a path, you have a divine purpose and mission, always do the things that you need to do to support those who are less fortunate. Um, Benicia is a powerhouse. Benicia is someone to be reckoned with. Benicia is a mover and a shaker. If you don't know who she is, then I just ask you to continue to follow her, go back and do the research on the lives that she's really changing, and then just kind of model her. Because what I say is that if people were like you or like me, what kind of world would it be? And then when you say the name Benicia, it will be a really crazy, powerful world. And so I'm honored to just be in her intimate circle.